I was looking at back that Sid Caesar brought me into the business. Bob Hope put my kids through college, and Norman Lear made my retirement possible. Mort Lachman called me and he said, I want you to write joke, write for Bob Hope. And he said, I can't write a joke to save myself. I'm not a joke writer. Don't worry about it. So it'll take two years. It'll take five years. So you'll learn. Don't worry. Meanwhile, you'll help with the sketches. So that's how. And I stayed. And I, I, I said, maybe it took me a couple of years to learn to write a joke per joke. But I thought Bob Hope, I, I loved him very much. He was a very, very nice man. He was very, very good to work for. Anyway, a couple of stories about Bob Hope. Okay. One time, Bob Hope discovered there was a group of people waiting outside and couldn't get in for hours in the sun. He was very angry about it. He says, after the show, bring him in. I'll do a show just for him, just for them. So it happened. So And when it was like in a huge tent, a covered place. Now, they said, I'm going to, he's going to sing. So the pianist is gone. This Mel Tolkien can write, can play the piano. So I sat there and I couldn't see him or a little bit where he was in the other. And he starts singing a song and I tried and I can't play it. And I stick my head in and I say, could you, could you play a song that I can play? Could you, that I, no, could you sing a song I can play? And the audience recognized the joke immediately as if, who is this schmuck, this piano player at $150 a week and this icon? And he's telling him, they recognize the joke that I was kidding. You know, mm -hmm. So that was a, he was a nice guy. Another time he told me, Bob Hope did, he says that last night, the night before, he had seen a comedian making some jokes about some corporation or some businessman. He says it was funny. I, very good. I wish, I wish I could do that. But I can't. I have to buy radios, I didn't know, and so on. I need, like from senators and so on, I need a suck ass to them. He actually said that. And that to me is a picture of a man who realizes he didn't do everything a comedian should do, ripped to, rip to pieces, whether he's a Republican or not, or where he's for. Mm -hmm. And uh, I loved him for, for that ad admission. I was like the, the house liberal. They all write as basically a liberal, you know, particularly politically.